Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some Democracy 3 Africa. Now, after what I thought was an amazing term in office last time round, um, we didn't get voted. We got barely any votes uh, in the election and we're kicked out on the streets. Um, so we're going to try again. We're going to go to new game. We're going to pick a country. I'm going to go with Botswana. Why not? It's a landlocked country in South, Southern Africa. Stable representative democracy has been in place in independence from UK in 1966. 70% is desert. Okay. Here we go. So length of term, five years. Term limit. Let's, should we have no limit? Why not? Just in case. We're going to leave these off. Um, difficulty 100%. We're going to leave everything the same. Let's have the, uh, the Congress of the Republic against the All People's Party. Why not? Come on, the Congress. Right. Click to return to government. Congratulations on your election victory. Job as president. The lives of all 1.84 million citizens are in your hands. As you imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement for our citizens' quality of life. So do not forget that you face re-election in five years. Okay, so GDP is obviously terrible. Health is quite bad. Education is improving. Unemployment's a bit rubbish. Crime is a bit rubbish. And poverty is also a bit rubbish. So, okay, we're going to have a look at this. See if I can remember what the hell is going on. So... Armed robbery is an issue. Armed robbery is an issue. What else we got down here? Okay. An asthma e epidemic. Okay. Skill shortage. And if we could work on a skill shortage, that should really benefit some of this, this stuff. Um... As you can see, we've got a big deficit and we're losing several millions. Okay, billions, in fact. We've got an uncompetitive economy. And that feels like something that we need to work on. However, pollution is quite high as well. Good Lord. Who are the main voters? So the socialists look like the main voters here. Okay. Okay. Wowza. I like I like it when you look at the uh, GDP because everything just stays on and is insane as to what you're seeing. Right. Okay. So we've got some time. We've got 33 political power to try and work on something. Um, my view is that maybe, just maybe, if we were to work on education. We'd improve the GDP. Let's have a little look. So, skills sort of shortage, education, university grants, and technology. So, we can definitely improve education. Okay. We also allow hunting. Um, Okay, so let's have a look at the um, the education. Where are they? Over here, is this it? State schools, that would help. University grants. Have we already, we've already got this in place. We're just not spending a huge amount of money on it. Is this indicating to me that this would go up? I can't really remember what's going on, but if I was to put this on, education, all these would increase. And that would go up as well, is that right? Hmm. 
Okay, let's get out of that screen for a second. What else have we got? State schools might help. Okay. Child labor. Technology. Technology sounds like a thing that we could potentially improve. We are spending quite a lot on it, but... Okay. Oh, I see. So this is saying that it's dropping. So the, the more we pump into this, the better our technology, GDP, state employees, and so on and so forth. It's just really not very popular with voters. So maybe we'll hold off on that for now. We'll keep that in our back pocket. Grants for all is really going to benefit us, but look how much money we're going to lose. But that, in say, saying that, should in theory help us with other things. So it's going to take two days, two uh, turns to implement. Is there anything else we can do school-wise that we're going to see some benefit from? Okay. So what if we looked at state schools? Wow, look at that. We're already giving them laptops. What more do they want? Wowza. Okay. What about our homeless situation? Could we do anything to improve that? We can... Unemployment is still a thing. Quite a considerable thing. Malaria is quite a big thing as well. Science funding is the way forward on that. For sure. Okay, it's definitely, I mean, definitely going to have an effect on unemployment, but I'm just not sure that's the way to go right now. What have we got over here? Okay. I do like the idea of a total ban, but no one's happy with a total ban. At all. No one likes the idea of a total ban. Liberals are not going to be best pleased. Hmm. Okay. Handguns. Oh, what have I been? Oh no, I didn't use any. Okay. I was going to say, did I use some stuff that I didn't mean to? What else have we got going on? Okay. I'm thinking science. I mean, it's going to cost us... 1.25 billion If we can do that we might as well go the whole hog mightn't we 1.5 billion per quarter It's not popular with voters But you know what This I like Okay Just a bit of capital not a huge amount uh, haven't we got some policies or something that we can potentially bring in? Where's that? Security briefing. Nobody really cares about me, which is good. What's this button do? Pies. No, we don't need to know about that. Is there a policies button? I'm sure there was. Where's... Where's that? 
How do I bring in new policies? Must be this. Here we go. Okay. Welfare. What about... Okay, state housing sounds like a wise idea. We could bring in some kind of agricultural subsidies. Space program, what do we think? Could bring in <laughs> funding and then also <laughs> graduate tax. I like the idea. Okay. School tax credits. Okay, enterprise investment screen, recreational drugs. What else have we got? Adult education subsidies. School vouchers. Okay, I like the idea of that, I have to say. Government Code of Conduct. Okay, what else have we got? So I'm thinking... We should look at something like state housing, maybe. Let's do it. It's a lot of money. Okay, we're going to keep it as to one billion a quarter gonna affect private housing but the benefits are there on poverty and it's gonna cost us a lot though let's do it still got some more points here um, banned hunting we could bring this down I mean it's not gonna please everybody environmentalists won't be pleased but it should have you know have a Positive effect on tourism may be an option. Um, not sure it's the wisest option right now. Okay, what else have we got here? Okay, what have we got up here? AIDS, how do we... This is going to cost us, I mean it already costs us a lot actually. I don't know if I can afford to do any more on that, but what we could potentially do is... Is look at... Healthcare vouchers. 
private healthcare. No one's going to want that, I would assume. Um, well, they would, but it's whether they can afford it in the first place, even with the vouchers. Um, hmm. Food stamps. You know what? It's going to cost us a lot, but I think it's going to be worth it. Ten points left. What do we go for, I wonder? How do I get the socialists on board? They're the biggest population of people who are going to vote, I think. Um, okay. What else have we got that's really bad? An asthma epidemic, car usage, the environment infrastructure. environment agricultural efficiency okay so what if we looked at going to save those points I think. Let's just see how some of this stuff is going to help now. Some of it takes a couple of turns to take effect I think so let's have a little look. Crime is slowly coming down as is poverty which is good. Health doesn't look like it's made any difference. Unemployment no difference yet either. There is an urgent policy question. Law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of food sold to children including food sold in fast food restaurants. Of course food served in schools is likely to incur costs for food retailers. Um, cannot interfere with the free market. Let's not affect the free market. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. However, that is slightly better. Our debt, our global economy are rising. Not fantastic. Okay. Okay, we're back. And we've got things happening. We need to try and boost this. Um, twenty three percent. I don't know if I can really push them even harder. I mean, this is interesting because this would bring up income. Would it? It's totally banned. How have we got an income of 40? quite like the idea of oh I don't like the idea of hunting in fact I'm against the idea of hunting but it could in, in impact us with some income potentially it's not popular with the voters let's uh let's come off that for a second we might do that still though Okay. Let's 
I don't really know how we bring in any more money. Um, Tempted to maybe bring this up a little bit. Somewhere in the middle there would surely help, although probably would affect our... Okay, we're going to apply this. A little bit of labour law in there. Um... Good lord. Okay, we're going to leave that. We're going to pretend we never saw it. <laughs> Child workers. We're just going to pretend we never saw. Okay, so socialists are slightly happier with this. We can continue to work on... We can continue to work on that. We'll be better off, I think. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at some potential. It's going to take five quarters to import, to implement this, but we could bring in some more cash. Okay, free school meals. We're definitely going with those. Okay, we're doing it. Only got the five points left. Is there anything else we can bring in? And we're going to bring this in as well. I mean, it doesn't make any difference here, so I'm just going to ban it, I think. Okay. Now let's go. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so crime and poverty, I'm guessing, are falling. Unemployment stayed the same. Everything else has played, stayed the same. Drilling, oil drilling opportunity. There's literally billions of barrels of oil here, and our soil current law is preventing us from drilling it. Instead, we are importing oil from other countries. Yeah, we're going to have to do it, I'm afraid. It's not going to be good for the old... Uh, What do the polls say? Oh, they're not... Not looking good. Okay. Liberals and the poor are getting slightly happier. No one over here is particularly pleased, though. State employees seem to be quite pleased. Environmentalists, not going to be. I'm still going to focus on... Hmm... What's this? Handgun laws. We could focus on handgun laws. Okay. Got armed police. Let's 
going on up here then? Oil prices, oil supply. Let's have a look at a few more policies. Sorry. Okay. We need to look at trying to get a little bit more money into. The rich would not be happy with this. Do it. The wealthy and the elderly will not be happy. Now, the elderly vote, so let's leave it at medium. It's going to bring in some money, though. We need to we need to look at ways of bringing in money. I've already got it. I just I'm just increasing it. Is that what's happening here? It's bringing it in and it brings it in at the medium level. Okay. What's this? Okay. Mansion tax is now down here. Look at it. Oh dear. Have we got this? Is this a thing? Yeah, we've got it. Okay. I think that means we've got it anyway. You know what? Let's just carry on. Avoiding real debates. Crime is still dropping. Oh, look at this. Yes, the goodwill. The cabinet ministers are loyal. And the poll reports, not good. Does look like we're going up with some, but we're definitely coming down with others. Okay. Let's not worry too much about that for now. Youth increased probably because of the cup. Everyone slightly going up, I think, which is good news. Uh, and we're going to put a cut in the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.